fried rice is my top two most popular videos i see y'all love it i love it too so i decided to run it back i was so excited when i went to the store and all this stuff was already on sale in smaller portions y'all know how the stores be be having us buying enough to feed kate plus eight but after buying all the authentic sauces and stuff i might as well fed a family of eight everything was chopped already so i got it right in the pan now my most popular videos is the one is the one of the combination fried rice in chinatown that one just went crazy y'all gotta go look at that video on my ig the comments are so wild from it not being real meat to my titties dropping to the flow it's honestly crazy but i'll be cracking up responding to them comments but one comment type in particular that i get on my video that really irked my nerves is it's a no for me or anything like that when the ever invited to my dinner table or out to eat with me like keep that note to yourself that nobody was ever going to ask you about this is a nice knife ain't it i ain't never seen a knife come in a holster it's a meat cleaver but my meat was already chopped so i used it to chop the green onions and man this is a nice one it was so effortless i set the knife on top of the green onion and it was cut now i swapped out my lorries for old bay with my shrimp i don't know why i just think old bay is a seafood lorries y'all i'm 30 years old and the guy who gave me my stuff at jewels was 24 and he asked for my instagram i'm like no they not gonna r kelly me now this was the part that almost made me not want to cook this i'm horrible when it comes to extracting crab especially snow crab now the first crack gave me confidence but that second one put it right back down and between that eating as i cracked it this how much i got from two claws now this the best part i'm using my lexi home kitchen wok i be seeing these pots with the squares on tiktok all the time and i wanted one so bad and i'm happy i finally got one because it was perfect for this fried rice now this rice ain't day old but it's three and a half hours old when you think about it this rice really healthy because most of it's protein and you really need your protein for the sauces i use low sodium soy sauce and a lot of it some oyster sauce and a little bit of sesame oil then i added the green onions and bean sprouts for that authentic chinese takeout look then mix and mixed and mix i did have to transfer some to a smaller pot to get this golden brown look but it came out so good look at that y'all i bought the duck sauce and the chili oil because i was not making gravy and i ate it with my titties on the table and it was so good let me know if you try it